as the disease progresses or if you have access to very sophisticated MRI technology, you can measure the actual volume of the, the memory centers or the temporal lobes. So these are some MRI findings in Alzheimer's disease. This is now a, a young patient with these nice, full, mesial temporal lobe structures or hippocampi. And as we get older, we all lose some brain volume. So this is probably my scan here. It's uh, you know, losing some memory centers. And then there's something that's more than normal age-related changes. We call that a mild cognitive impairment, which may be a precursor to Alzheimer's disease. But you can certainly see that there's more space here, more black here than you see on this MRI. And then when mild Alzheimer's disease is diagnosed, you can see that these, these structures are even more atrophic. So if you just compare this black space here to the black space here, which is that temporal tip, you can see that there's a, a big difference. And if you look at this black space compared to the tiny little black space here, there's a big difference. So there are MRI findings in Alzheimer's disease. Usually they occur uh, later on. But if, you're, if you really look at the MRI, and you do very thin slices through those memory centers, oftentimes you can see some subtle changes which can help with, with diagnosis.